Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Christina Ken, and I'm an oil painter based out of San Francisco. And today I'm going to talk about something that a lot of artists often worry about, and that is making bad art. And I'm going to talk about why making bad art is not only not a cause for concern, but also a good thing. So I was thinking a lot about this topic because I hear a lot from younger artists or people who are newer to making art. They ask the question, they say, you know, my skills are really low right now. Um, my art's not good. Like, I think it's really bad. I'm making a lot of bad art. When is that going to change? When am I going to start making good art? And I felt the same when I was younger. I was thinking, you know, my art, as I learn more, as I improve my skills, eventually I'll get to a point where I'm just making great art all the time because I'll have such a mastery over art making that I won't make bad art anymore. But over the years, as my skill has improved, as I have seen myself getting better and better, I came to the realization that I still make a lot of bad art. But it's not necessarily all bad news. I actually think that making bad art is an important part of the creative process and is actually a good sign. It's a sign that I'm trying new things and that I'm growing. And it's true, one skill level as an artist definitely improves over time, especially if you're engaging in deliberate, deliberate <laughs> practice, if you're really working hard and trying to uh, try out new things and push yourself in new directions, if you're studying from great artists that you really like, you're going to be building skills and your skill level will be improving. But just because your skill level is improving doesn't mean you're going to stop making bad art. And that's because in my experience, as my skill level has improved, my standards have improved as well. I can look back on art that I did in the past that I thought was really, really amazing and that I was really proud of. And now that my skills have improved so much, I can see all of the issues with that art to where I wouldn't consider it good art today. For me personally, the way I feel about my art, um, the amount of paintings that I consider to be good paintings, the amount of art that I make that I think is really good art, that ratio of all the art that I produce actually hasn't increased very much. And I understand why people are asking this question because Making bad art is not fun. It doesn't feel good. Sometimes it feels absolutely awful. I, I go through some painting sessions where every single brushstroke feels like a mistake. It's just all landing wrong. And then when I'm making good art, I'll have a painting session where it almost feels like I'm not even doing the painting. I mean, every brushstroke just lands in the perfect spot and it is. it feels so good and it's almost effortless. So I can understand why people would want to get out of this zone of making bad art, why they would want to get to the point where they could actually feel like they're making good art all the time. But I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. Making bad art is a sign that you're trying out different things because if you didn't try out different things and push your boundary and move into directions where you weren't sure what the outcome is, then you wouldn't be growing, you wouldn't be improving. Basically, if you make bad art, it's probably a sign that you're getting out of your comfort zone because you're trying something that you're not really sure if it's going to work out. And I think that also makes the artistic process a lot more exciting. If I knew that every time I got to the easel, I would make a perfect painting that would come out exactly as I liked it, that would be it would be cool to be able to make such consistently good work, but at the same time, it would be kind of boring. I mean, if I knew that every painting I was going to do would be absolutely perfect, there's no sense of discovery, there's no surprise, there's no feeling of um, risk-taking going on in the creative practice. And I feel like that is so important in creating that you are taking a risk, you are trying something new. Also for me as an artist, I think maybe it depends on what your goal is. Because if your goal is to get to a point where your skill level is decent and you can just create a bunch of things that are very comfortable for you and make the same thing over and over again, then then maybe you do want to get to this point where you're quote unquote good at art. But if your goal is to be constantly learning and constantly exploring, then you don't want to get to that plateau. You want to keep pushing. You want to keep trying new things. And for me, that's my goal for my art. And that's what really keeps my art exciting. And it seems like at least from what we understand about artistic genius, if, if we understand it at all, um, the people who make the best art, they're not the ones who make the best art all the time. They actually make a lot of really bad art, but they just create so much that we see their really good pieces and they learn from the ones that didn't work out. Like Andy Warhol apparently made thousands and thousands of art pieces that he would just he would actually have his interns burn the the pieces that failed which there were many of them 
and he needed to get through those art pieces to create his best work. So for me, I see making bad art as part of the overall artistic process. It seems like we need to work through these ideas, we need to try these different things out that don't work so that we can get to the things that do work. But now you might be wondering, okay, if making bad art is necessary for the creative process, is there a way to make it less painful? Because I know how it feels when you have really high aspirations for a work of art, you really try hard and it just doesn't work out. The way that I try to find enjoyment in the process, even when I'm making bad art, is I try to treat every art piece as a little experiment. So even if it doesn't turn out right, what, what can I learn from making that art piece that I can bring into my next piece to make it better? And you know, you can learn just as much from art that doesn't work as you can from art that does. So here it can be really helpful to have a painting debrief where you look at the art piece and you think, okay, what went wrong here? Was it the composition that was off? Was it the colors that weren't quite right? Maybe I was painting in, in conditions that I don't usually paint in or using different brushes. Um, by thinking about these things, you can better understand your artistic process and help try to make the painting process more enjoyable next time. Another thing that I like to do is even when I make a painting that I think is bad, um, I will look at it and I will really try to find at least one thing that I really liked about the painting. Maybe it's just one brush stroke that was just beautifully placed, or it's one color combination that really worked well together. Um, but I found even in some of my worst paintings, I can still find something that I think is beautiful. I think it's also important to have humility in the art making process and realize that there are just going to be some things that are out of your control that some days you just have an off day and you're just not going to make great art. I try to set up the best conditions for myself when I'm making art. I try to be well rested and turn off distractions and things like that, but some days it just doesn't work out. And realizing that it's not all in my control helps me on the days when I do make bad art because when it doesn't turn out the way I wanted it to, I don't have to beat myself up. I don't have to think, you know, I'm a bad artist, I'm a failure. Um, I can just think, okay, I had an off day, it didn't work out. So you can't really control whether or not it's great. But some things that you can control is whether you're enjoying the process, whether you're fully present, whether you show up every day to make your art, even if it could be good or bad, even if you don't know what the outcome is going to be. And if you mark your success by showing up every day and by giving your full attention to making art, then you're gonna have a successful day even if the art doesn't turn out. I think of it as, well, even if the art piece turned out bad, at least I fought the good fight. You know, I gave it a shot, I gave it my best, I showed up, I did my part of the job. So don't get discouraged if you feel like you're making bad art. It's all part of the process and it's actually a sign that you're growing, that you're improving, that you're learning and getting better every day. Instead, focus on what you can control. You can keep practicing, you can keep making art, regardless of whether or not it's good or bad. And it's not gonna happen all the time, but every once in a while, you'll get lucky and you'll make something truly great. And that makes all of the bad art pieces worth it. Okay, that's enough from me. Now I wanna hear from you. How do you deal with making bad art? Tell me your tips in the comments below. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more art content every week. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for making this channel happen. And if you like my art, if you like my videos, and you want to help me make more, check out my Patreon at the link below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!